Well, the big story today circulating on social media and in the headlines is this. Yes, Kathy Griffin posing with Donald Trump's severed head. Well, now it turns out after she posted this, she's just got the worst news of her life. For some background, we'll show you some video too. Danny Gold, Liberty Writers News, is reporting it's absolutely sickening what famous liberals are able to get away with these days. Of course, you recall when Madonna, she threatened to blow up the White House. Snoop Dogg made a video where he shot Donald Trump. Well, all of these examples pale in comparison to what Kathy Griffin did. Here it is, uncensored, absolutely gruesome and disgusting. Oh, and, 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 and she even put a video out, very dramatic. Take a look. Now, before we get into her apology and the Secret Service, uh, Daniel Nussbaum for Breitbart reported that Kathy Griffin did issue a statement just after all this was posted on Tuesday afternoon that she doesn't condone violence of any kind following this backlash. Um, violence? This You don't condone violence? Well, this looks like a pretty sick violent act. This is something that we see um, you know, in videos out of the Middle East, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Well, here she is again, like I said, she's posing with a bloody fake severed head of Donald Trump. The photo originally surfaced on TMZ on Tuesday, part of a, uh, a photo shoot with the L.A.-based artist Tyler Shields, who is, quote, known for his provocative work. Now, Curtis Houck for Newsbusters reports that Griffin uh, has hosted CNN's New Year's Eve program since 2007 with Anderson Cooper. So this this is again this is this is a CNN host, okay? This is a, this is more proof of the people that CNN associates with. Now, this is something we need to do. This is I'm going to issue a call to action right now. There are corporations. These are the corporations that are sponsoring CNN and the hate speech that they are putting out, okay? So I'm going to go through this quick list, well, and then I'll show you the, her apology. I'll show you uh, the tweets from the Secret Service. It's all sick. But first, we, got, we need to do this call to action right now. These are the list of the CNN sponsors to boycott AstraZeneca Pharmaceuticals. The number is on the screen. Now, if you have to pause it, uh, go ahead and pause it. Write these numbers down. Uh, AstraZeneca, E-Trade, Monex, Precious, Precious Metals, Sprint, Nextel, Select Quote. We've also got um, Wells Fargo, AARP, Philips, Norelco, let's see, Geico, Subaru, Boston Market, Overstock.com, also Liberty Medical, Live Well Financial, American Coalition for Clean Coal, University of Phoenix, Partnership for Prescription Assistance, eHealth Insurance Services, Dodge, Hyundai, Joseph A. Banks Clothiers, CareerBuilder.com, Zurich Financial Services, Johnson & Johnson, U.S. Home Auction, Cisco, Exxon Mobil, and then Jitterbug. Yeah, so these are the companies that we need to issue statements to. So take a minute. If you need to, scroll back into this video and t jot down those phone numbers or find those folks on Twitter. They, they hate it when you tweet them. Because that's like that's way out in the public. A phone call they can bury. A phone call, oh, press one for this, press two for that. You never get to talk to anybody. But uh, Twitter is very effective when you're launching a boycott of this of this magnitude. And make sure you let them know that because they continue to support CNN, they are supporting by <laughs> by default this. Okay, so they need to denounce this as well. Now uh, TMZ has come forward after this all uh, broke and they reported that Donald Trump Jr. now blasting Kathy Griffin and all the liberals for her photo op with this bloodied mask of Trump. Uh, he says he's not shocked though. They write here, Don Jr. called the gory uh, Tyler Shield shot of Kathy disgusting but not surprising. This is the left today. They consider this acceptable. Uh, he also said, imagine a conservative did this to Obama as POTUS. 
Then Chelsea Clinton, she got into the mix as well. I think we got a tweet here. Yeah, Chelsea Clinton, she said, this is vile and wrong. It's never funny to joke about killing a president. And then uh, the Daily Beast reported that hours after the imagery of her holding a bloody severed head uh, made up to look like the president hit the Internet, the comedian posted a video on Twitter apologizing for her actions. Take a look. Hey, everybody, it's me, Kathy Griffin. I sincerely apologize. I am just now seeing the reaction of these images. I'm a comic. I crossed the line. I moved the line. Then I cross it. I went way too far. The image is too disturbing. I understand how it offends people. It wasn't funny. I get it. I've made a lot of mistakes in my career. I will continue. I asked your forgiveness, taking down the image, going to ask the photographer to take down the image, and I beg for your forgiveness. I went too far. I made a mistake, and I was wrong. Yeah, I, for one, do not accept this sincere apology. Okay, this is, this is what the left wants to do. They want to kill Donald Trump. Okay, they want to they want to destroy this country. They want to destroy this presidency. Okay, so she she's only sorry because of the backlash. What did she think she was going to be some kind of hero? Okay, well that apology came a little bit too late because the wrath of God did come down on her in the form of the Secret Service. Okay, here is a Secret Service tweet. They are on it. Secret Service has a robust protective intelligence division that monitors open source reporting and social media to evaluate threats. They've been on it all day. Threats made against Secret Service protectees receive the highest priority of all of our investigations. Yeah. Oh, oh, and by the way, that video we showed you at the beginning, yeah, they removed it. Tyler, the, uh, the, the, the writer or the, the photographer, he removed it off of his uh, YouTube channel. So, now you've seen it. You've seen the horrific imagery that is coming out of the left. This is the... I didn't think they could go any lower. I honestly thought that there was no, like nothing below the low. But this is it, friends. This is it. There's nothing funny about this. You know, if you've ever Googled, and I don't encourage you to do this, but I have seen some beheading videos. And they are absolutely atrocious. The sound that comes out of a human body's torso when it is gasping for its last dying breath without a head and the blood that is getting sucked back in through the open esophagus is absolutely atrocious. And that is what this image represents. What this woman did. There is no apology that will ever, ever cover this crime against the President of the United States. So if you agree with me that this woman, this comedian, this CNN host, deserves to have the fullest extent of the law, the full weight and punishment of the Secret Service on her, then do your part with me and share this video on social media right now. It's time for accountability, real accountability.